Hey, I'm Holly. You're watching Enemy. Today we are at Truck Festival and I'm joined by Orla Gartland. Hey. Hello. How was your set? It was amazing, thank you. Yeah, we were really had an amazing crowd. I'm like buzzing. Amazing. Yeah. I could hear it from this sofa really? when we were doing an Are interview. You I could hear the singing. I could. No, I'll take that. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, I was yelling pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> so you've just finished your home headline tour in Ireland. Yes. What was that experience like? It was unbelievable. It was quite strange because they were rescheduled shows from last December. Right. So the kind of strange thing, I guess it's been happening to people a lot, but strange thing where people had bought the tickets a year before and it's a long wait and mm -hmm. you know you just you want to put on the best show you can for people and I have never received such a warm welcome at home I felt like Aww. the fucking princess of Ireland to be honest <laughs> like it was unbelievable and I really I had never felt that sense of like homecoming before that week but it was just everywhere I loved it your first festival season yes. as an artist with a debut album out yes. in the world That's how has right. it been Amazing, so nice to have too many songs. <laughs> we only had half an hour today, so it was all killer, no filler, greatest hits, platinum yeah. hits, and uh, it's just nice to be able to trim down a set. I remember playing festivals when I had just a couple of EPs out, and you're kind of there trying to balance it out, so it's just so nice to be able to adjust the set list for each festival, yeah. see what goes down well, like kind of just get into a flow with it. Yeah, absolutely. So you had a song in a little Netflix show that came out this year, you know, pretty niche. <laughs> Why am I like this? Yes. Heartstopper. Yes. That song has just taken on a whole life of its own. I mean, what has the whole experience been like I for you? I could not have asked for more. It's so interesting. I've never had anything like that where I feel like I'm used to putting out music and trying to induce an excitement that isn't there, you know? Mm. And I think you're, you're trying to get, you're trying to form a connection. Or, I don't know, let me put that again. You're trying to get other people to form connection with your song in any way that you can, building a visual world around it, whatever it is. And that was the first time I've had where there's already people connecting with it and they're connecting with the show. Mm. And I got really lucky that it was in a really pivotal scene of the show. And yeah. I think that was just a real stroke of luck. I got really lucky that they weren't talking over it. <laughs> and yeah, it was just a real match made in heaven. And then you get this beautiful thing where people are connecting with it for a reason that kind of isn't nothing to do with me. And then I become a passenger mm. to this thing that's happening. And you, the, the mission is then not trying to induce an excitement, but actually just sort of catch the passing traffic and I've never had that feeling before and it was just yeah it's been amazing so you wrote it three years ago yeah. how has the meaning changed for you at all if at all I was thinking that today it's so funny as well when you sing it at a festival it's by far the like quietest one in the festival mm. set it kind of builds at the end but there's something quite funny to me about like loads of people yelling why am I like this because <laughs> it's so self-deprecating and it's so like tinged with regret and it feels like a really isolating statement but when you have loads of people just like chanting it it feels a little bit less so yeah for me it's like I still connect with the meaning it's just for me about being extremely self-aware to like an really did like uh, uncomfortable point you know yeah, and yeah. like analyzing conversations when you're already in them i uh, kind of looking at yourself from up above and being like why did you do that <laughs> like why did you say that why are you like this basically so that's still very true of me yeah. now do you have lots of people asking you why you like this <laughs> my dad says it all the time like <laughs> literally when we went home we went, um, I was home, I went on holidays after my little mini tour, like squeezed it in. And uh, yeah, my dad just like spilt water on the table. He'd be like, eh, why am I like this? I'd be like, eh, eh, eh. Never heard that one before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so funny. Any talk about any songs in season two now that we are actually God, getting a season two? I hope. I'm just such a huge fan of the series. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Alice. I think all the actors are amazing. And no matter what happens, I, I will be watching. But God, I'd love to write a song for it. Can you imagine? Oh, amazing. So good. I was talking to Baby Queen mm. at Tram Lines, who obviously wrote a song, Colors of You, for season one, and had loads of other songs in there. And the both of us were just like, we just saw each other for the first time. We were like, heart stopper. <laughs> and she was like, heart stopper. And we just kind of like hugged each other. And we were like, thank God. Like, what an amazing thing. Bonded for life. Yeah, yeah. I really feel like that. <laughs> So you've had your debut album out in the world for yes. nearly a year now. Yes. What is coming next? Are you looking at album number two at all? Yeah, just starting to write that. I've been on tour non-stop mm. this year, so I would be lying if I said I'd made any real progress with it. But what I am doing is collecting ideas in quite a kind of sporadic way. Mm. And really now I have to do the thing where I sit down and make sense of them. Mm -hmm. But there's something so like 
there's so much sensory overload in touring like I I've done a lot of my own tours this year and then I play with my friend Dodie and she's done you know tours in the States and Europe to, this year as well so I feel like I've seen so many things and like finally lived some life to write about mm -hmm. and so I'm kind of excited to just get down to it now and just sift through it all make sense of all the half ideas and uh, but yeah a couple more festivals first amazing can't wait for that thank, thank you thank you so much for your time thank you very and much for having me thank you thank